This is my review on the Logitech G305. What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and I know I haven't been posting a lot lately, so I'm gonna try to do basically a daily upload schedule for the next month. See if I could do that to get making videos back into my system. But to start it off, we are going to be uh, starting that next month at the beginning of October. And uh, today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Logitech G305. Y'all did see me do a review on it about a month or two months ago. Um, whenever I ordered it off of Amazon. And this is going to be my reviewing video, which I said I was going to do a week prior. But I forgot. So I guess now is better than never, right? So I've been using this mouse for about uh, two months. And then recently I got a new mouse, which was the HyperX Pulsefire Haste. But I'm going to do a review on that sooner. But in my time of using this mouse, I realized it's really good. It is literally just a G203 wireless better feet and a better sensor that's basically it and also these side buttons they sound a bit different and they are easier to click so if you ever have problems clicking your side buttons then this is better for you because it's easier to click them um also right beside me i do in fact have a g203 if i can go ahead and get it from over here g203 and as you can see it is basically a replica of the except for this has more of a hump on the side part than this one as you can see this one is lighter than this one but that's only because this one's wireless and the g 3 uh g203 is wired this one's wireless so it adds a bit more weight it is around I, i'm pretty sure 99 uh, grams while the 23 uh, 203 is about 86 grams in weight which is not that much of a difference uh on a gaming standpoint i know some of you are like oh but like five grams more is way too much but i get you but look just to hear me out this is really good if you love the 203 but you hate your tangle getting caught up and sensors not working out for you and you wish the feet are better get this this is a basically logitech g pro wireless but in a 203 shape. That's basically it. It has its uh, hero sensor right around there. The feet aren't that bad actually. They're really good. And yeah. It's the G305 light speed. Um, it comes in various colors. It comes in black. White. Purple. Teal. And a different color. But it's like a rare kind of color so you never remember it but i got myself the purple one and it don't look that bad actually it looks pretty good and i really like it and yeah pretty much um the scroll wheel and everything is really good it's a very good scroll wheel uh this is what it sounds like for all the buttons scroll wheel Uh, right and left click side buttons and the DPI button so that's basically that um, unlike uh, this one the Logitech G203 is uh, has a price range around 30 bucks 35 ish after tax but this one right here has a price tag of like $45, $50 after tax. Basically, the same price you can find a G502 around um, if you go to your local Walmart and they may have it on sale somewhere. That's basically the same price you're dealing with for this. Um, but it just really dives down to if you should get this mouse or not based on like if you want a mouse that's just like the 203, don't have a cord. Better sensor, better feet, easier to click side buttons, perfect mouse for you. But if you're wanting a heavy-duty mouse like the 502, do it.
do not get this. If you want a light mouse, like the HyperX Pulsefire Haste, that's 59 grams, or the Ninja Air 58, which is 58 grams, don't get this mouse. But if you were looking for a one in the middle, like a 90 gram, 99 gram mouse, that's not too big, not too small, perfect for claw grip and palm grip, If depending on your hand size. Palm grip is de dependable depending on your hand size. But this is a good mouse for you. It just all dives down to what you prefer, what mice you use, and which one is honestly better for you. But that's my review for this little guy. It's really good. And yeah, that's basically a guide on if you should get it. I'm soon going to make a video on different mice, the different sizes, the different grips you can use that are good for them, and the different weights. And depending on which one you should get on what you are, like, like what are you using and what you'd like more. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you very much for watching to the end of the video. It's a bit of a short video, I know. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. And also, have a wonderful day. My name's Hunter, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>